blow up in your bed Make you remember the words that you have said Cause I'm a crawling gang snake And a room I want you hanging around with my maid and daughter I want you to Okay, first name is is Willie. Last name is Crawford. Been in the music business since 1963. Uh, actually, I was singing before that, but I started recording in 1963. 53, I'm sorry, 53. My first recording was in 1953. I came to Chicago in 1953 and I spent uh, about three months here. Then I went back to my hometown, Houston, Mississippi. Got my mojo working, but it just don't work on you. Got my mojo working, but it just don't work on you. I wanna love you so bad that I don't know what to do. Going down in Louisiana to get me a mojo hand. One of the most famous clubs uh, back in the day in, in Chicago was a club called Civio's. And that's where everybody met. Uh, at a certain time of the year, you find all of the uh, great entertainers would be there at this particular club. Although it was more than one, one called the Cotton Club, and there's another one called uh, Smithy's Corners, and another famous club for many, many years was the Checkerboard Lounge. So many, many entertainers played there at that club. I'm gonna have all you women right to my man. Got my mojo working. 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 Got my mojo working, but it just don't work on you. So I was at my brother-in-law's house, which was only two two blocks from this club called Civio's. And uh, he used to come by and pick my brother-in-law up, and they, you know, they hung out. And so I started hanging with him. And and then after I went back to Mississippi, I couldn't hardly wait to get back to Chicago. I, you know, I was so excited and had such a great time when I was here in, in Chicago. And I had such a great time till I just, I was so fascinated. I couldn't hardly wait to get back to Chicago. I got a gypsy woman. Giving me goodbye. I got a gypsy woman giving me goodbye. I got a whole lot of tricks keeping here alone. You know what? Well, we did uh, sing some gospel, when, you know, when I was younger, like I'm gonna say like 10, 11, 12 years old. I, you know, we uh, used to go to church and we, you know, we sung gospel. And matter of fact, my, my father, he was a minister too. Yeah, and, um, but he never, he never did knock uh, my music. You know, he didn't never say you shouldn't, uh, you, uh, you know, he never, never said that. And uh, so, matter of fact, he used to come out and, and uh, see some of the things that I did, uh, you know, before he passed. and. Uh, him and my mom, they used to, matter of fact, I used to own a club myself in Chicago back in the 80s. And uh, they used to come down to the club and they'd sit down and then, you know, and enjoy themselves. We'd have, you know, special days down there, like dinner and stuff like that. And uh, we just had some great times together at the club that I had called the New Funds Lounge. Hello, baby, baby. A sick flows on down. Well, you know, everybody's telling me you about the most elevating is 
warm in winter. So I went in. I went in business for myself. I was doing uh, AAA uh, roadside assisting. It was back then. It was only like uh, uh, you could get a, a service, you know, jump start two dollars. I told five dollars back in the day when I first started it, and I did that for like 50 years. 50 years I was in that business, and and still now if I wanted to do it now, I, you know, because I still have like the garage. And I still have trucks and things still up in the garage. I just quit like uh, three years ago. I just stopped completely doing it three years ago. And uh, so I don't, I don't do it anymore, but I still got the equipment there. I just said 50 years was long enough to do that type of business. Why well, you know everybody telling me? You bought the elevator in this woman. Well, the definition is the real blues. When you hear it, when you listen to what I do, you're going to know that's the real blues. See, see, blues is like this. It's just like, uh, say if uh, it says, you know, like a lot of people don't really understand the blues. They hear the blues and don't understand what the blues is really all about is, is like, uh, you know, say you can't pay your house rent, you got the blues. Can't buy food, you got the blues and got problem at home with your wife, you got the blues. So, so this, is, this is the thing is what happened is, a lot of people don't know they had the blues, but they got the blues and they don't know they got the blues. So if you can't do all them things, you got the blues no matter how you put it. You definitely got the blues. I got a boy child coming. Gonna be a son of a gun. Gonna make pretty women's. Jumping child, then the world wanna know what it's all about. But you know I'm here. The message I'm gonna I'm gonna deliver something that uh, you don't hear every day. You know what I'm gonna deliver tonight here. You don't hear that every day, and you can't hear it because there's nobody to do it. <laughs> That's where the problem comes in. <laughs> I don't care how long But good kind to you Bring you home someday But someday, baby Tell everybody.